talk I last night about 24 hours ago from this moment I guess I was shooting a video of movies I had that had the worst endings um, so now I'm gonna do my favorite documentaries now if you're wondering why obviously you can see a shower in the back why I'm shooting a video in the bathroom it's mainly because this is the room that has the best lighting in it. I don't really want to be just like a silhouette. You can't see the DVD case or whatever the story is. It's December 21st. Alright, let's get this uh, started with all the documentaries. These are in no order. Um, some, the last three of these are all instructional videos, but I just figured I'm never going to talk about them anywhere else, so I just decided to throw them in here. First one I have is His Name is Jason, in this, you know, slip cover. Uh, this is, it's two disc. I thought this was a pretty cool document. The only thing I don't like about this is that they get too many random, like, horror fans and internet bloggers on this thing, which... I'm not really a fan of it. I just wanted it to stick more closely to the Friday the 13th series rather than, you know, other people, which is what this Nightmare on Elm Street documentary did for me. This was nothing but the Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, cast and crew, which is why I like this one better. This one's like five hours long. It's like the five hour long documentary is on disc one and on disc two. You just got a bunch of bonus stuff. So this one, yeah, don't get me wrong, um, his name is Jason, it's still a good documentary, but I just like this one better because I don't really care about the people they were talking about. Now the last, I like the main horror documentaries everybody knows about, is Halloween 25 Years of Terror. This one pretty much has the same problem that the uh, Friday the 13th documentary had. You know, just interviewing a bunch of random people. But this one comes with a cool, like, comic book thing like that. Um, so, that concludes my horror movie things. Now we just got a standard documentary. It doesn't really fit into a genre at all. It was Super Size Me. Uh, this, is, this is actually oh, pretty cool. I don't really eat McDonald's that much. I, I just eat, you know, like home cooked food. I don't really eat at fast food that much. So, and this, this is not a reason why. Yeah, this was made in 2004. Morgan Spurlock, he just made the Simpsons documentary 10 months ago, or 11 months ago. <laughs> in uh, January, he did the Simpsons documentary, which I don't think has been released, but I'll have to check. This is pretty much him eating nothing but McDonald's for 30 days straight and what the effects could be on your body. Right. Then these next two are PBS documentaries. First one is Blue Man Group's Inside the Tube. This one is pretty much a documentary all about the Blue Man Group. Um, and it's really rare you had to buy it from PBS the night it and I ordered this back when it first aired in 2006 for like $15. You had, it's kind of rare now. I think there's some copies on Amazon.com. So look, there's Blue Man Group Inside the Tube. If you have Blue Man Group's DVD, like How to Be a Megastar, it has this on it, but that's a cut down and shorter version than this. So that's why I still recommend getting this. It's, it's, it's like hour and a half, 90 minutes long, just like telling Blue Man Group shows and like how it all came started. It showed, I, I, it's December 2010 right now, back in September, back in September 2010, I actually went to go see him here in the Briar Street Theater. Cool. Alright, then we have The Who, Who's Next. This is pretty much all about the recording sessions of their album. Who's next? So this is pretty. I got this at a Barnes and Noble for like ten bucks. I'm a fan of the Who. That's why I got this. And it was pretty cool. I I don't really think I've watched it that much though. Then 
Now this one I got at a pawn shop. Like my uncle's neighbor donates books to this pawn shop. I can't think of the name of it. But uh, anyways, we went into the back in the storage room, which was cool. <laughs> Uh, we went in the back of the storage room, and, you know, oh, she's like, uh, she was, it was just me and her, my uncle didn't go with, I just went help, I w went, bleh, went with her to help, and so she's like, oh, you could look around if you see something, I mean, you could have it, so I was just like looking around in boxes, and the boxes had nothing in it, the boxes were filled with random crap, like, say I look in a box, it would be like a towel, a ball of yarn, a blender, a, a cardboard cylinder, a doorknob, a magic kids, a, just the randomest stuff you can imagine in one box. And I eventually found a DVD, like buried beneath just a bunch of random stuff. And it was north of northwest of Chicago, from farm fields to boom towns with. Jeffrey Bear. I don't know who that is, but but anyways, this this is actually a pretty rare documentary. I got this for free, folks. I found this for free in that pawn shop in a box, and um, got this for free. Whether well, I see, it's not even available on Amazon.com. Then I came across it on this other website for like twenty-five bucks. I think this was a good gift for me. I was lucky that I came across this. It's a, you know, I live in the suburbs of Chicago, so why oh yeah, not? It was pretty cool. Now this last one is the last documentary, and then the last two are pretty much just instructional videos that I pretty much just couldn't figure out where else to put. All right, but the last real documentary is the roller coasters of Cedar Point. You know, like that. I bought this in a gift shop in Cedar Point. You cannot get this on Amazon. You cannot get this on eBay. You, you, it's either on cedarpoint.com or, you know, you can buy it at a gift shop in Cedar Point like I did. Like I stayed at this hotel. I don't remember the name of it. I remember it was yellow. So I... So it was, there was this gift shop in the hotel just selling nothing but like peanuts. You know, like the Charlie Brown, all that stuff. So I'm nothing but peanuts and Cedar Point merchandise. And they had just a shelf of these. I got it for like 10 bucks, whether it's 19 on their website. Now these last two are, instruction, are instructional videos. I just thought they'd fit in with documentaries. I don't know why. Plus, I'm never going to talk about these elsewhere, so screw it. <laughs> There's an Extreme Haunted House Makeover. It's pretty much a Halloween... DVD like on how to make your own Halloween decorations. It's, a, it's actually pretty useful. Like hey, like these really easy ingredients to come across. Like everybody should have like most of the stuff in their home except for maybe like strobe lights. But this, I got this back in like September of 2009 at that Halloween store. So extreme on the house makeover. That's pretty cool. Then this last one, I like. I went with my mom to this mall, and we went into like this spa, massage type store. You know, like stuff along that lines, and stuff those lines. <laughs> and uh, that you know how sometimes they give out free brochures, like in those things. You know, you have brochures. You know, just like all lined up like this, just leaning out of there. They had a bunch of free DVD pamphlets, pretty much. And this is The Essentials of Chair Massage. <laughs> it was free. Well, this is my reasoning for getting this. It was free, and I collect DVDs. This is a legit DVD. So why not? He said, I actually watched this full way through, like, as a joke. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really. I'm not. I'm never gonna watch this again. But I'm gonna keep it. I always love this picture too of the baby getting a massage. It's on the cover. <laughs> so this I just got like a spa store for free since they were just they had a rack of these for free. And so like all of my DVD videos, I usually do a recap at the end. I just dropped them. So 
It's going to be in mixed order. Sorry. Uh, Never Sleep Again, Nightmare on Elm Street documentary. The Who, Who's Next. Northwest of Chicago from Boomtown. No, from Farm Fields to Boomtowns with Jeffrey Bayer. The Roller Coasters of Cedar Point. Extreme Haunted House Makeover. Essentials of Chair Massage. Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Uh, his name is Jason. Super Size Me. And last we have Blue Man Groups Inside the Tube. Alright, well this will be the last video probably until the Christmas Eve Eve. You know, it's a holiday my family made up that's on December 23rd. This is probably the last video you're going to see until the, you know, the Christmas party video from that. And uh, then after that you're going to see a Christmas Eve video and a Christmas Day video and like a Christmas gifts video. So, thanks for watching this video on all my documentaries.